Hi guys, this is Vineet and in this video we will discuss about how you can configure backup compression inside of SQL Server. Before we proceed ahead, I would uh, request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell notification icon to get all the notifications. And there are some points uh, which I would like you guys to remember. Uh, please watch video till the end to gain better clarity of the concept. If possible, watch the video twice. and perform the exercises only in your lab environment, not in the production environment. And we would like to know your thoughts regarding our videos, so please share your comments with us. Now let's come back to the topic which is uh, how to configure the backup compression in SQL Server. So let me go, go back to my notes on backup compression. So under that there are some points to be remembered. So after a fresh installation of SQL Server, back, backup compression is off by default. So with a new installation of SQL Server, uh, we see that backup compression is disabled or off by default. We need to enable it if we want to make it default. And backup compression default server level configuration option sets the default behavior of the backup compression. Let's see if we are able to find this option, backup compress default server level configuration. So we are inside the SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, let's go to the server properties. Let's see if, if we have any settings related to backup here. We have related to memory. So regarding backup, I do not see any. So yeah, on the database settings page, there's an option to by default compress the backup. You can check this option. So if this option is checked, every time you take a backup, by default compression will be enabled. So right now I'm not enabling it and just hitting OK. And let's go back to the notes. We can also override this default backup compression setting at server level when creating a single backup. So this uh, server level option which I have just shown you can be overridden by the um, this server level setting can be overridden by a single backup of a scheduled series of routine backup which can be done using the maintenance plan. Overriding can be done in the following way. So there are several ways to override the default backup compression behavior. So right now the default backup compression behavior is to not compress the backups. So if we want to override this setting, if we want to override this setting and take a compressed backup, we can do it in various ways. So we are discussing those ways. So first is we can use the with no compression or with compression clauses with the while using the backup statement. So let's go ahead and take a full backup of one of the databases. So I'm using Northwind as a sample database here. So let's uh, take a full database backup. So I'm using backup database statement and uh, need to supply the name of the Northwind database. And we are backing up to disk. Um, I need to mention the path. So we are saving it uh, on its default path. This is the default backup path. Um, So let me put the name of the file. So let me call it Northwind full backup with compression. All right, and let's give it an extension BAK. So here I can use the clauses with compression. Um, right now the server level setting is to not compress the backups but I want this backup to be compressed so I can override this option by using the with compression clause. So I can execute this statement to create a backup. So a new file with the name uh, this Northwind full backup with compression will be created uh, and it will be a compressed backup. So I'm executing this statement. So yeah it has created a backup file. Uh, you can check this folder here. Uh, refresh this folder and you see, a uh, backup file is created and this is a compressed backup file. All right, so 
let me take another backup without compression we will compare the sizes so the compressed backup size is 964 kb let me do uh, with no compression so you can uh, type this word and uh, change the name of the file with uh, let's say no compression uh, let's take another backup so executing the statement another backup is created which is not compressed so let's see the file size difference uh, so the one with no compression has a bigger size which is 8 MB and the one with the compression is only 964 KB so this is the difference between the compressed backup and no compressed backup so no no compressed backup is large and whereas the compressed backup is uh, it consumes less disk space uh, let's see what are the other options to uh, override the compression server default level and um, inside the SQL server management studio we can use backup database option page to set the compression of the individual database log or file backup so this setting can be done from here as well let me close this query and while taking backup from the UI mode, uh, earlier I taught you the SQL statement or T-SQL syntax to take backups. So right now we are taking a backup through a GUI. So we are taking a Northern database backup, full database backup. Uh, recovery model for this database is bulk locked right now. But yeah, uh, we are taking a database backup. So this file is being used to take the backup. And under the backup options, we can override this option using the compression section so which is def by default set to use that several default setting otherwise we can choose to compress or not to compress the backups if we want to use the several default setting we can leave it as it is otherwise we can explicitly set or override it with backup compress backup or do not compress backup so this is one of the other ways to override the options and in SQL Server Management Studio, you can also use the maintenance uh, plan wizard to control the backup compression. So earlier I shown you that you can use task backup option to take backup uh, a single individual backup. If you want to take an automated backup, uh, you generally use the maintenance plan. So that comes under the management. So there's a maintenance plan section so here we usually uh, create plans so so maybe I can mention it as the database backup plan so let's click OK so it is showing us a plan here you can set the schedule of that plan so I don't want to Okay. Right now we are not discussing in detail about uh, how to create the maintenance plans. I will cover uh, this topic in a separate video uh, re in detail regarding how you can create maintenance plans. But yeah, a database backup maintenance plan can be created and uh, while they're creating that plan you can uh, override the backup uh, compression level options so let me close that i don't want to save the plan let's see what are the other options to uh, enable the backup compression so if you if you are using a tool uh, called uh, sql server integration services which is basically used to create the packages uh, that can be deployed inside the sql server so those are called ssis packages uh, a package can be created for backing up a single database or multiple database and uh, while creating a package we can set the option to compress or not to compress the particular database backup and backup compression behavior can be changed for an individual backup backup job or log shipping information we will cover these topics in more detail later like uh, we will talk about backup jobs and log shipping configuration later on so now we have talked to you how you can uh, configure the 
backup compression override option using while taking individual backups uh, via the SSMS GUI in the T-SQL mode. So that's it for now. Uh, we are done with this video and I thank you so much for your time. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and post a comment on our videos. Um, I thank you so much uh, for your time again and you have a wonderful day ahead.